she told me, Ethan, you're not angry. Well, actually, you are, but you're angry because you're hurt. How dare you? Know me better than I do. She knows my worth. But she ain't going to tell me. She's going to help me get to it. Because what's telling me going to do if I didn't learn the lesson? Teachers get people to go to it. They lead us to the water, but can't force us to drink it. I taught you the course. Now, why aren't you passing the test? But she a good teacher for me. Sifu Sensei. I don't really know what to call her, but she's going to be good and great for me. I know she's going to help me upgrade. So what do I got to do to thank her back? I don't know, but I will definitely give her back a thousand percent what she gave to me. I'm just trying to make sure that I appreciate those I appreciate me because some people say I love you with no appreciation, no hesitation to hurt you because I love you. I'm going to correct you. See, I see you acting a fool. I love you. That's why I'm smothering you. I love you. That's why I wouldn't let you do that. I love you. That's why I can't accept you every single time you change. Like, yeah, you say you're doing this better for you, but I love you. So I'm going to be so critical on you. Well, if I loved you, now I would just foster you in the improvements of yourself, but if you are out here trying to kill yourself, then to love you would be to take the weapons away from you, and rather if that's the knife, the pill, the gun, I'm not quite sure, but to love you doesn't mean I'm going to say you look ugly. To love you might mean like, mm, you've had better outfits on you, but if you look like you enjoy it, then I'm not going to say it. I'm going to ask you, how do you feel? Because I'm not wearing it. I'm not looking at it. If you feel like you look sexy, of course I'm going to say and agree. But at the same time, like I said, you've had better outfits on you. But if you want to take this out, go ahead. Put it on. I don't give a fuck. I want you to feel confident in your skin because you're wearing it. I'm wearing my skin and I feel lovely in this shit. So when I say I love you, I just want to make sure that you're breathing healthy. I want to make sure you're in the best communities. I want to make sure that you have everything that you need to grow to be the best version of you instead of trying to make sure that you're in the ground younger than you should be. Like, maybe you should be dead at 23. Maybe you should be dead at 27. Maybe you should be dead at 35. But I want to make sure you look like you were alive the day before you died, the moment before you died instead of, well, you made it to 92. You made it to 93. You made it up to your 80s, but you seem to have died in your 30s or 40s or 50s or 20s or teens or you, your younger years. You had a future ahead of you, but... You're just a corpse that most people didn't notice. I have seen the light in others, and I've seen the paleness too. Like, I can't tell, are you a light being or a vampire when I keep walking through? Some people are easy to see, and some people are hiding in plain sight. I do know that there's a lot of things that they're telling us. It's the truth. It's just so hard to believe. Back to stranger than fiction, and some people check out of reality when fact gets too strange. Yeah.